Hey there, it is Leslie with Wichita Area Real Estate Experts and EXP Realty, and today's Spotlight Neighborhood is College Hill. College Hill was originally platted in the 1880s, and the name came from a Methodist college that was proposed to be built in that location, approximately Douglas and Rattan area, and the college never even came to be built in Wichita. Most of us that are from around here, we know it as Southwestern College, and it is built in Winfield, Kansas. So when they started building College Hill, it was 1900, and most of the building was completed by 1934, and there's currently about 5,000 people that live in the College Hill neighborhood. Um, College Hill is spread from US 54, as the out-of-towners know it, and Kellogg, as the locals know it, at the South Point, and it goes north to central, and then hillside to the west, all the way to Oliver to the east. So it's in that quadrant there. And what, something else that's really cool about it is there's a 22 acre park that kind of sits in the middle of it. And from 1901 to 1912, it's actually served as the Wichita Country Club. And then it became a golf course, and then it became overgrown, and then they built a pool, pool house, and playground that sits there currently with a ton of green space. People are always out walking their dogs and throwing around a football and different things like that in the area. A couple of other really cool things that are happening or going on in uh, College Hill that you can go and take a peek at is the Allen Lamb House. It was a home that was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, and it has a lot of Japanese influence because Frank Lloyd Wright was designing a hotel in Japan at the time. Clifton Square, so Clifton Square is on the north side of Douglas, and it's a bunch of old houses that have been turned into restaurants, a couple of my favorites, uh, Ziggy's Pizza and Dempsey's Burger Bar. And then also there's some different shops and things that you can do in, in that area. And then you also have the Belmont, which is on the south side of Douglas, just across the street. They've got a fabulous brunch if you haven't been there. Um, and then you have Crown Uptown, and it sits right on the corner of Douglas and Hillside on the south side of the street. And tons of different musicals and plays and things like that that happen there. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. And then also a couple of other homes that are going to be featured on today's video are all on the National Historical Registry, and that is the C.M. Jackman House at 158 North Roosevelt, the Frank Blasser House at 136 North Crestway, the Hillside Cottage, which is just north of the Pool and Pool House, and that's at 303 Circle Drive, and then you have the Powell House at 330 North Crestway, and the RDW Clap House at 320 North Belmont. A couple of other notable families that have lived in the College Hill area would be the Coleman family. So if you've heard of Coleman Camping, that's the family that I'm talking about. And also the developer of Mentholatum. He actually owned the property that was just to the north of the Frank Lloyd Wright designed house. So there's your tidbits of information today about College Hill. So hopefully those of you that are from Wichita learned something new. And those of you that aren't from Wichita, we hope you enjoyed your tour of College Hill. So have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.